couple of years ago, you ended up with a netbook, the Asus 1225B. It's a great little thing, but these days it's probably showing its age. Lucky for you, there is a great solution to noticeably improve performance and battery life. It is inexpensive compared to the price of a new computer, about $50 at the low end. Even luckier, anybody with a screwdriver can do it. No technical experience is required. A solid state drive, or SSD, is a modern replacement for an older mechanical hard drive, like the 1225B has. SSDs are many, many times faster and use much less power than the old hard drives. This leads to faster boot times, faster program load times, and longer battery life. It is the one single best thing you can do to make your netbook a better portable computer. On most laptops, replacing the hard drive is a pretty straightforward affair. It is about that easy. But since netbooks are quite a bit smaller, it can be more complicated to reach the hard drive bay. It is, however, not very difficult with a step-by-step -step process. I will walk you through the physical install process of replacing a hard drive in an Asus 1225B netbook. The materials needed to replace the drive in an Asus 1225B are pretty simple. You'll need the netbook, of course. You'll need the replacement SSD. You'll need a non-magnetic Phillips head screwdriver. You'll need a place to store the screws. I use measuring cups. You'll need a clean workspace, and you'll need some time. Before we begin, you'll want to start by backing up whatever you want to save from the Asus 1225B, because your new drive will be completely blank. There are plenty of guides out there to help you install a new operating system, and I will provide links to them in the comments of this video. You have your materials, your data is backed up, and you are able to install a new operating system after the drive is replaced. You are now ready to begin the process of replacing a drive in the Asus 1225B netbook. There are three major steps to this process. We will be accessing the hard drive bay, we will be replacing the drive, and then we will be closing everything up. To start, we will be removing some screws. Flip the netbook over and take the battery out using the spring clips. There are six screws to remove here. Four in a row up front, and two at the back in the corners. On the square panel, pull the little rubber protector up to expose another screw. We're going to take these seven out first and put them in our storage cups. After those seven screws are out, you're going to grab the little rubber protector and pull up to pop the case cover off. We have two more screws to undo in the corner and in the middle. You'll unscrew those and then the easiest way to get them out of the hole is to just flip the netbook over and dump them out. You'll store them in your step one cup and we're ready to begin the next process. This next step is usually the most uncomfortable for people because it feels like you are ripping the netbook apart. We're going to be detaching the keyboard from the case by popping these little clips off all the way around. So we start back here in the battery bay and we push out, popping clips off, and then with your finger in the crack on the other side of the hinge, push back. You should feel a little pop each time. Flip it on its side, open the lid, and work your way down the side, pulling it apart each time. Flip to the other side, and pull this one. You might have to be a little forceful, but don't worry, you're not breaking it. Lastly, we're going to do the front. And there you go. Your keyboard is now detached, and we're ready for the next step. 
The last step of part one is removing the keyboard from the motherboard. To do this, we're going to tilt it back carefully and you can see two ribbons connecting the keyboard to the motherboard. They are held in place by simple little flip switches and so you carefully reach in and flip the switch up for the front one and for the back one. You can then pull the ribbon back and the keyboard will come cleanly off. Place it key side down off to the side and now we're on to step two replacing the hard drive. For a clear picture of how these little flip switches work before you try and get into them. They're just here and here. And all they do is go up and down. We will now remove the old hard drive by unscrewing the mounts here and here. These screws can go in your step two cup. To take the hard drive out, slide it towards the outside of the case, and grab it by the sides, and pull up. You can now put the screen and the case off to the side. Next, we are changing the mounts from the old drive onto our new drive. There are four screws holding these two plates on. And you simply unscrew them. The old hard drive can now be put aside and you get out the SSD that's going in. The mounts get reattached so that the horizontal part lines up with the top of the drive. When the top can be figured out, you have these two sideways L's. And when facing you, the short one is on the right. That side is the top. So you attach the mounts on the four corners. The hard drive mounts are now attached to your new drive. So we're going to take the netbook back you put the drive back in and then slide it forwards until the mounting screw holes on the match up with the holes from the motherboard. We will get our two tiny screws back. and reattach. Part three is reattaching the keyboard to the case and putting it all together again. The first step is the most tricky part of this whole process. You will be reattaching the ribbons to the motherboard. So to do this, lean the keyboard back between the hinges you're going to want to get at eye level in front of it. Slide the big ribbon in first. Flip it down. Lower it a little more. Flip the small ribbon in. Flip that close. And then you can put the keyboard down. Now, if we clip everything back together, you just start at the front, unpinch it, apply pressure, go down one side, and then the other, close the lid, flip it over, back together.
step of this whole process is putting the screws back in. So you get your, your screws from step one, take two of the longer ones, and drop them in the two recessed holes in the square panel. After those two screws are in, take the square panel, slide it back in, press down, take the longest screw, replace it, and you take your six remaining screws, put the two longer ones in the back corner, and the four short ones across the front of the battery bay. All you have to do is pop the battery in, flip it over, power on. You now have your faster, longer lasting, Asus 1225B netbook. Good job.